Good afternoon, people. PJT wrote my beer and the infamous M also wrote my beer. Sometimes, in a way. Yeah. Right. As you'll have seen, as you were seen, <laughs> from the fun... I've got the old one on. Right. So it's saying perfect draft, funny enough, and the glasses. As you've seen from the thumbnail, it's the king, which is... Um, or is it the king? I don't know. This It's caused somewhat a, an array of different opinions, isn't it, this year? It has, yeah. Um... There's your standard infamous glass. We're not going to use that. We're going to go on the same glasses. Now, one thing I must state here, I didn't realise that Michelle and SJ had drunk as much before we went to Vietnam as the keg that I took out and put back in the fridge. So, yep. we're doing last year's, which date was dated the 7th. So, it's only marginally out of date. Three months, isn't it? Yeah. But we've done that lot. over a year out of date. <laughs> yeah. But... It's just to see, I know you can lose it a little bit over the course of time, but the keg was stored well. It's just, as I say, we're coming to the end of the line on the other keg, which we didn't realise. We should have done this probably before we went, but we were on a YouTube live and got on a bit of a pickle and I was drinking a Blancs and we were a bit excited about going to Vietnam. That's how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we didn't, put the mic we didn't even put the microphones on, but never mind. Never mind, it's quite quiet out here. Today. We're getting there, right? Uh, as I say, so I'm going to pour... The old one, this side. No, the new one, this side, right? Okay, so the new I'll, one is going to be by my right yeah, hand. To my left. Okay. Let's just check. Yeah, make sure you got it right. I haven't got a clue, have I? Okay, if I just pull this out, rather than mess this up. Yeah, that's got to be. I've got to just make sure I don't hold it right. That's the one we just put in. Yeah, that's the new one. That's right? the new one. So this is the new one, but it's not. It's the old one, if you see what I mean. Oh, now you're confusing me. Well, like, it's, it's a new keg, but it's the old one. It's last year's release. Yeah. Okay, now that makes it a lot more simpler. This is last year's release that is going to be on. It's going to be my a bit of a a bit of a moulder, obviously. That is your new. Is your is your. It's last year's release. That's last. God, look at the colour of that. Yeah. I'll show you on the camera in a minute. Hold on, let's get this <gasps> on. Whoa! The camera's going. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, I'm having a time here in my life. So you should be doing this. I've got two big feet. Oh, dear. Oh, I could have been crying then, couldn't I? Yeah. I don't even want to think about no, it. No, I wouldn't. Right, so this is this year's release. Yeah. The one that a lot of us are really having a difference of opinion here. Okay, so I'm looking at this colour wise, they are looking very similar. Yeah, really similar. Yeah, there's nothing that I can, you know, pick out from the colour of these. The heads is foamy and it's got that nice creamy colour, nice tight bubbles. So 07 24 05 25. And considering that's quite far down the keg, it's on one bar. I'm really picking up some real nice aromas from this. Okay. And it's just, as I say, we will go and do the other keg again because some people, when we load the other keg in, but that's after that all this. That's wonderful. That fruit, the malt. And this is your old one that's out of date. Slight bit of treacle, maybe fig. And that is just in the aroma. There is, it's plentiful. There's loads coming out of that. Ah, oh, this is smelling more banana. You see, and I thought that was lacking the banana, the, as in the taste profile. From the aroma, it's, I'm really picking up ripe banana from this one, and that's overriding a lot of the other smells that are there. Like I said, this one, you are getting that kind of treacly smell, malty, um, fruit there, a little bit of fig. It's, it's really got an abundant smell to it. So basically, that is delivering the old one more than the new one as as the flavour. On aroma, goes. yeah, I'm picking up a variety of aromas from this one. But <coughs> this one is mainly white banana. <coughs> and now that's settled, have you noticed that is slightly darker? Yeah. But that could be because that is coming to the end of the cake. That's coming to the end, so we I really didn't realise. That. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't re realise we'd done a live before we went away. And honestly, when I took the keg out of the fridge, I was like, oh, oh God, right. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But it doesn't matter, it's still there. It, it'll give us a good idea. Mm. Obviously, some people, and another thing I must state to people, some people have said one keg 
was different to the other keg, although apparently it's all the same batch, so I don't know what's going on on that level. I sometimes wonder whether it's in our heads. All I know is that one for me had a bitterness that I wasn't used to and I didn't particularly okay, like. Okay, which way round are we going to do this? Going to go from last year's release to this year's release or do you want to do it the other way round? Whatever you want. Okay, let's start with last year's. Let a boss decide. Oh no, I didn't. Well, it's good to do. We've got the keg here. We always keep the keg. We always keep one keg back, which I haven't this year because I've got to try the other one see if it's different. And I only brought two. Mm. Is that still giving it and this is three months out of date? Oh, this is yeah, really creamy, really rich, lovely bready malt, treacly kind of taste, fig, soft stone fruit. I am picking up in there something a little bit spicy, a little yeah, bit get peppery. Spice. But I'll tell you what. Really smooth. Even right to the end. There is no bitterness on the end. And this oh, is okay. where this one's different. This is where the confusion's coming in. It's like... And doing them, I know it's last year's, and people say, oh yeah, but it's like, that's lost nothing from when I originally picked that out. For me, that's probably the best Royal ever, in my opinion. And I've drunk enough Royal, as I was just saying to Drake in there, to have some form of an idea on it. Okay. Right, for me, Difficult. The, yes, this, go, this tastes a little bit more, it, it feels a little bit more carbonated, it isn't quite smooth. I'm getting not as much of that soft stone fruit kind of taste that I'm getting in that one. I am picking out a little bit of figginess, I am picking out a little bit of caramel in there. There is the spiciness there, there is a hint of bitterness on the end, but the ripe banana taste in that is still carrying through at the end of this one. The smell is going forward into the flavour, the I white banana I was getting on the end of that. Maybe you should have pondered it rather than smelling it. Um, I don't know. Um, this I one is smoother. It's smoother. It's smoother, yeah. And it's generally better, as I knew before even trying. I will go again, but that the flavour's going through you and then you get that, that sharp bitterness still on that that you don't get on that. And for me, it's like a totally different Bison beer, that's my honest opinion. There's nothing wrong with that, I get that, but it's not the world beater that that is. Yeah, there's, there's no bitterness. That's clean all the way through. That's the Royal that we got back, that we all know and love. This Royal is an imposter. It's not the same. It isn't as different for me as what Paul it's tasting, that's his taste buds, that's how he's tasting it, that's how his experience of it. My, it's not bad, it's My don't experience get me wrong. of this is smoother, a little bit more fruity. There is a slight hint of bitterness on the end of this one, but I think that he's pulling it off because you've still got that ripe banana flavour that carries through to the end. Um, I do think that this is better. Different level. But... There's nothing wrong with this either. No, it's this drinkable. This is still, this is still royal. It, it yeah, really just tastes wrong with like it. it. It's got, it's got all the profile flavours in there that you would expect. But it's still not as good as that one. And that is, so three months out of date, still delivering and showing that that is the king. That, I don't know. Um, it's a tough one. I don't know. Um, I used to think if it ever disappeared again, I'd cry. But with that, I don't. That was the one. Yeah. It's got that addictiveness. It's. I know what you mean. There is a slightly higher level of flavour and complexity I, I in, yeah. in here. Um, I'd love it, a, it isn't as massive a big deal. I, I think it's still yes, tastes very anything, anyway. anyway. But um, I'd love a proper expert to have these side by side, you know, like not us. They would say exactly the same thing as what I'm saying. But I don't think they would. I think a, a man that knows Royal would agree with me and not agree with you. Would agree that you just not even at the not even at the races, should we say? Let us know what you think, people. We already know. Really, so many really, people are divided. Really, 
let that linger on your tongue and see if you get that aftertaste of ripe banana because that's you what are, I am, I am getting that. with. It's actually, do you know what? I'll be, I'll be honest here as well, and this is a weird one to tell you. Since putting it away, and it's 17, 18 days that it's just been in the fridge, it has improved. Mm. And that's the God's honest truth to when I did the honest, the, the original review. And it may be well that you're coming to the end of the keg on that. The, yeah, the bitterness that isn't as sharp, but it's still there compared to that one, which is just smooth all well, the way through. It, yeah, I do give you that. It is another level of smooth. Honestly, well, I, wouldn't, I would only say, I want Royal to come back. I want Royal to sell. I don't want Royal to disappear on it. So it's in my best interest. I absolutely love that. But it's not as good as that. That's a good honest truth. Just an opinion. This is just something we was asked to do, obviously, even before it was released, and more so. Once it was released, once people knew that we yeah. had the kegs. It's, to summarise it, I agree with Porter, but to, to a lesser extent, I think that this year's release is still very, very good. Yeah, which is fair enough, isn't it? What can I say? Thanks for watching. We've gabbled yeah. on for 11 <laughs> minutes. And I think that it went the way I thought it would go, which is the way a lot of people would agree with and a lot of people disagree. This is one of them 50-50s. Yeah. There's some on this side, there's some on that side. That's always going to be, is it in your head? No, I don't think it is. I think it's definitely different to that one. Some people prefer that one to that one. Some people prefer the year before. <laughs> it's always going to be the way. It keeps us interested. It divides opinion. Hopefully next year it'll be better than all of them. Yeah, Bonjour. Okay. <laughs>